extra legendary? How does it even work? What happens when you get it? I got it all right here for you. Let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, I woke up early before work to record this video just for you guys because we need to know this extra legendary tower climber draft. That's a strange title, but it sounds cool, right? So basically, while the portal is lit this weekend, if you summon a legendary from an ancient, you get an extra legendary, a different one from that shard for free. But how does it work? What does it look like? Okay. Um, I mean, it seems, sounds like you just have to pull your ancient shards and you'll you'll pop out an extra legendary. So what does that look like? Um, the extra legendary will not reset your mercy counters, but the first one should. So I don't know about that. And then obviously we have a 10, a 10 times chance to pull Altan, Septimus, Martyr, or Bad L. I don't recommend... Um, pulling your void shards, I would start saving those, but pulling some ancient shards at a chance for two legendaries, I mean, let's get it, let's get it, we got some nice, uh, update gifts, nice update gifts, and, uh, you know, our little life hack, we're gonna go say, oh, we're in English 23, that's my basketball number. Oh, we're going to run with 23 this morning, guys. The uh, clan boss just reset. So let's go ahead and check in here. See if we could get another ancient shard. We didn't. Um, we're going we're gonna to pull till we get this. Uh, we have 64 ancient shards. So um, let's go right now. Let's see if we can get a legendary. We um we're on the the quickness over here and don't forget when you're pulling champions this weekend, save those spirit champions if you are trying to do that um secret room in the doom tower on hard. Save those. Okay, because you're going to want a team for that of at least level 50s, at least level 50s. That first pull was good with two epics and then all rares on the second one. <laughs> Three epics on this one. Jeez. That's nice. I mean, I don't particularly need any of those. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Can we get a double legendary, please? Chancellor Yasmin. I'm excited about this chick. When the AI fix comes out and you can change the order that they do their moves, she might actually be good. She might actually be good. I would not mind a martyr on my account. I would not mind a martyr. We're uh, running out of shards, guys. <laughs> we should have started out with the singles. We should have started out with the singles. Let's see where are we at here. Nothing, nothing. Okay, let's uh, let's keep buying until we get it. Let's keep buying until we get it. Probably just go one by one here, but I am gonna need to make space. How much space do I have? Okay, we have enough for the shards that we have, and I already leveled up some I leveled up some level 30 champions basically um, that way uh, if we need to level up some champions quick I do have some ready to go man lagging on the on the single pulls I don't know if there's a different animation if you pull them single or if you pull them on a 10 pull, I just, I want to know both. But here's an epic Virgis. Very good champion for when the uh, Scarab boss comes back around next month. Come on now. Come on now. 10 pull. 
Let's go. I mean, we got to be somewhere. <laughs> we got to be somewhere deep in our mercy system. So if you're pulling this amount of shards, what you want to do or try, try to do ahead of time is you want to try to have some champions ready to go. Okay. That way you can just come in here. Boom, boom, boom. Upgrade. And unfortunately, there's no champion training event going on right now. Come on, Polarium. There's no no event that you're going to get points for. But, I mean, you do what you got to do when you're pulling shards like this. You know what I mean? Like, you, you have to make space. You have to have room to pull shards. Um, and I will show you another tip here in a minute. But I think after we do this... Then we will have enough. That's 369, plus we had a couple more. Let's see. And I can unlock spots, too. I'm not fully unlocked. We have 220 out of 230. So if I throw Ushan, that's a Zavia. If I throw Fushan in the vault, then I will have exactly 11. And then we can come back, come back over to the shop and get that. We can come back over to the shop and get that. There we go. All right, we say we're saving gems just for something exactly like this. Something exactly like this. All right, here's the the single. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that lag gets me every time. I don't know about you guys. That lag gets me every time. All right, here we go. Can we get it? Tiger Soul, decent early game champion. Gnarlhorn. Ugo is outstanding. I use her every day on my account. Every day. All right, now, here, if you need to level up champions quick, what you want to do is you want to find the uh, most amount of brews that you have, and you want to match it to the color of the champion. So let's say Grave Chill Killer right here. If we take um, six in the first group and five, so 11 brews, levels one champion to 30. And that is just a good place to be. That's a good place to be. So I'm going to do that a couple times. Um, it's just really efficient with your resources and to do that um, with your brews. So I do from time to time, especially when we're in a situation like this. Oh, those are fours. I was going to say, <laughs> um, when we're in a situation like this, here we'll level up Apothecary because he is a wonderful champion. Um when I'm in a situation like this, this is what I like to do. If I need to, uh, if I need to level up champions really quickly, then I will use 11 brews, level up a three star to 30, and then I will actually Sentinel um, could be helpful. Um, I was thinking about him uh, for the Magma Dragon. He has a provoke on his A1, and let's do. I want to say one more. One more should get us there. And then I have some 40s that are ready to go as well. Coffin Smasher, excellent, excellent clan boss champion there. And this guy can be very helpful to you um, all the way up to every, every clan boss um, until you maybe build an unkillable or until you're trying to take down Ultra Nightmare. So uh, hopefully I have given you a little bit of extra info on some of these champions while we're ranking them up. But here's some just some tips and tricks that I like to use when I'm doing things like this. Okay. Um, shop. Gems. And yeah, you can see the, the whole process here, right? You can see the whole process here. I think that we are nearing a hundred ancient shards. I think I don't have enough. 
I'm like one short. It's weird. I think I have two uncommons in there for some reason. So let's take our fanatic and just straight sacrifice to him. One, two. I don't like to feed level three star champions like that. I don't like to do it. Um, I know that some people do that. I do not personally like to do that. All right, can we get it here? Or are we gonna have to do that again? What would we have to do to get this legendary, guys? What would we have to do? Okay, um, let's go do it again. Let's go do it again. Or we have we have one. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh man, that lag on that single pull every time. That lag on that single pull every time. Okay, Plarium, come on. Don't you know I need to get ready for work here? Don't you know it? All right, let's go ahead and level up this Life Taker with some of those rares that we just leveled up. And some of those rares, um, I'll be honest with you, some of those rares can be very helpful on your account. Just because I am sacrificing them here does not mean that you should go sacrifice them. That would really depend on your account. Okay, that would really depend on your account. Um, I have some 40s ready to go. Um, we have some uncommons and whatnot that are prepped and ready to go. So let's do that. And then we should be pretty close. I really wish there was a champion training here because that would be outstanding. That would be outstanding. What are we at? What are we at? I think we're a couple short still. 222. All right. Well, I'm not cutting. I'm not cutting. Hopefully we're going to get on this one right here, this next 10 pull. Um, like I could, I could sacrifice some of those fours. I just don't want to. We don't know what's going to happen with the void rebalancing. And I don't want to get hasty and, and mess up, you know, what I've done. Saving a copy of all the void rares, which I highly recommend for you to do as well. Save a copy of the void rares. And then that way you can be prepared for the void rebalancing that's coming probably in another week or two, if I'm being honest. I think it's right around the corner. So we need to talk about uh, void rares and uh, or, or voids, just voids in general, and which ones I think are going to get buffed. Um, little spoiler there, it's probably Vizix and Whirlum, but who else could it be? Uh, there's a lot. I bet you there's a lot. All right, actually, guys, I just noticed this. That little symbol there, I just noticed that. That's interesting. I like that they, I mean, little details like that makes a big deal to me. Little details like that makes a big deal to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. What happens when we get two legendaries? How does it work? What happens? Tanix, I hate that chick. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Um, all right, let's cut here. I'm going to make a bunch of space and then I will be right back. All right, so we have made some more space. <laughs> we Hopefully we don't need to make any more. And let's pull some legendaries, guys. Let's pull them. Okay, Blood Feather. No, thank you. There it is. And then there it is. We got we got Bad Al and Rotos. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. All right, totally worth it. Totally worth it. I hope you enjoyed that right there. Bad Al into Rotos. I mean, what an incredible set of pulls. Rotos SS tier 
for the new Griffin boss, Bad L, obviously one of the best champions in the game. Um, in case you're not familiar with Bad L, he has an AoE on his, his uh, A1 that heals himself and all allies. He removes all debuffs, puts continuous heals, and puts two poison debuffs on all enemies. And then he has a passive to inflict more damage against targets under poison. Um, crit rate in all battles, aura, crazy. And then Rhodos is the extra turn champion here. Um, ignoring block damage and unkillable, 60% of their defense. Uh, damage based on attack and HP. Damage based on attack and HP. Um, and stealing their health, decreasing their max HP. Decreased defense, extra turns, and this crazy passive to take less damage. Um, so two very awesome champions there. I might be building that other Rotos. Interesting. We've never seen 11 champions on one screen before. That is pretty freaking cool, guys. So if this was enjoyable for you to watch, click that like button and let me know in the comments who were your two double legendaries. Now is the time, guys. Now is the time. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.